Hey everybody, it's me RJ, using my new pump that I just showed you. I probably should have showed you filling the oil, but I didn't, so let's show you this real quick. Okay, so you remove the exhaust valve, and you fill the oil, and then you want to run it for like a minute with these open, and then close it after it's running smooth, and make sure the fluid is at minimum to max. Some of these pumps don't have a min-max, they just have an oil level line, that's where you want to be. Okay, I'm over it, I'm at the min one, uh, so may have to be filled it should be plenty kind of feel like it's put more but there's a min and a max and i'm over the min all right so what we're going to show you though is the whole reason we got this pump so i had oil i had a ac leak okay um i already figured out at least the main leak it was right here this is the low pressure point on 97 dodge um low pressure valve for ac uh some of you are going to be different this is here the low and then the high is actually over on the compressor right here okay see that now some years or some models it's weird this is in here and yours is not removable yours will be right here on this hose on the back of it and some it's like over here on the side mine isn't that way so i can't help you but that's how you'll find it and the reason you'll know low is the gauge will only fit the low ones these are slightly smaller than the high okay so i replaced it and because it had broken off this valve, I'm gonna show you how they look here. These are not trader valves on this year. It is a different valve, see it? So I tried to remove it because it was leaking my Schrader valve kit that I master cool, but I couldn't tell that it was an old different design. Um, can you see it kind of? Mm -hmm. Like it's like a ball. Um, because it was filled with fluid when we opened the cap, right? It had leaked. So what it is, is it's one of these weird little things and down here, and there's just this and it's spring loaded back into here. So watch. See it? See it moving kind of? No. Okay, well that thing pushes here and that's how it holds. So I got a few of them in case these are bad because I went to the junkyard because guess what? They say they sell this at O'Reilly Advance everywhere, but when you get it, it is the high side. The reason that is is a lot of them don't have this. I don't know if... This has to be the way it's designed because I've seen it on a few others' videos, Um, but it's weird. They're not. And well, the ones at the junkyard were this way. All the video guys say they don't have this, but at the junkyard didn't half of them not have it. There's nothing there. And weren't a few solid. A few had it and you couldn't unscrew them. So it just depends on the year, maybe even the time of year. I don't know how it is, but for some reason they're different. So we pulled that. It was off. So of course I have a leak in a vacuum in the system, water, oil, whatever could have got in there. So what we're going to do, I already hooked up. I'm on the front here. If you have a vacuum pump, you may use the top. The reason there's two th things, these are coarse threads. And a little fatter, these are fine threads. So whatever your vacuum, your uh, gauge sets lines are for the go. This is the exhaust, you wanna make sure you're there. So what we're gonna do first, we're gonna take this high port. High pressure, you come around. Okay. Okay, and I have it. There's two different kinds of gauges, okay, so. Okay, see I'm on. And then I got to open so that the system can get it, okay? Now some you got to tighten down. Mine is the opposite, I believe. We're going to find out in a minute. I just got these gauges, so here. You know what? I think you just closed that one. No, no, no. This one pumps it no matter what. Look, see it? So look inside there. See this? This cap just opens it. That thing's already there. Watch. See it? And here's how you can tell. Did my gauge go up? No. We'll watch that in a second, okay? So look, I don't know if it has pressure unless the system's on, okay? So see that? It's a little smaller. Okay, so we're on. So watch, this is closed. So you know, no, no stuff could go through. Mm -hmm. These are open, so some of these pumps Oh, this one, the arrows are backwards? It tells you. No, no, no. This one you unscrew. This one touches it no matter what. Some of these you tighten it down, and that's how it gets it. It makes the sick fluid go, okay? So here's how we go. So we got that. I got this. Okay. You had it. You had to check that one, too. It's open now. So do I do need to tighten them down? Yeah. Okay, okay. It says open. Okay, you're right, you're right. If you want it open. Yep, I want it open.
That's what my camp person's here for. These are. So they're open. So we're fine. It looks different though. It looks weird. I don't know. You ready? Let's make sure these are already closed. Okay. So. Oh, and then you gotta open those, don't yes. you? Yes. Okay. So watch here. See, I'm on zero, guys. It actually moved a little, so I probably should have recalibrated it. So since we're pulling a vacuum, watch the pump. See where that's going? The opposite of zero, okay? Down. When you're filling is when you're going to want to put some. Oh, and there's some in there. You can already smell it. Smell it? Mm -hmm. Woo! Okay, so here's what we're doing. We're pulling this vacuum. Uh, that's excess uh, oil. The, the cool oil. Um, so we're gonna sit here for an hour or so running. Let it pull all that out. This is moisture and stuff. You're trying to pull everything out of the system, okay? Who knows how much in there? We let it go. Um, about an hour, and we're gonna come back. When we come back in an hour, we're gonna shut this off. But before we do, we're gonna close the system to keep the vacuum in, and then we're gonna let this sit for like an hour, okay? And you gotta make sure the gauges don't move. If you look, I'm on the 30 negative, and it says INHG back. Do you guys see it? That's where you wanna be when you're vacuuming, okay? So, yeah, that's it. We got an hour of this, maybe longer. Just let it pump, 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 pump. Pump, 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 pump. All right, maybe you had to do a compressor or something or an evap and you need to do a vacuum, so this can help you vacuum. Like I said, check this bad boy out. Hundred and something dollars. I'll put a link below. It comes with the gauges, with the pump, with the oil. Is that it? Oh, and a leak detector. Everything. Okay. I think we don't need it as sensitive. Okay. See it? There's a little coolant in there. See it? It beeps no matter what, okay? Okay, clear, plug. Earlier I was leaking. So there you go. Um, there's probably gonna be a leak here because I had some coolant out. Um, you can take this and test your system if you're on. Mine's not running right now, so it wouldn't, but you never know. Okay, so all of that came with this bad boy for like 120 bucks. So I had this on as part of that video, but also, hey, I did this repair. Oh. If you're replacing these valves, it's a 15 millimeter. You're probably not replacing these, but you could. I mean, they go bad, just like a Schrader valve, but these aren't replaceable. You cannot get them online anywhere. They will say low port. You agree? You look, but when you look, they are not the low port. They are always the high. It might be a dealer only part. It might be a dealer only part, which is nuts. This junkyard, these were free. And you think it's because I stole them? No. I bought a visor, and I came up, and they're like, take it. Now, I'm going to let y'all know, sometimes they get a little advantage. My junkyard has a veteran's discount. I get in free, and they give me 10%. So when I told him, like, here, and he just didn't ring me up, and then I showed him my veteran's card, he's like, just take it. So I might have got these free, because he didn't want to look for the trouble with how much it costs, and because I got a veteran's discount. So you may not get that. Your junkyard might be like, $8. I don't know. They're probably a buck. He probably didn't know what they were and what to deal with. grabbed a few in case they didn't work. Yes, and I grabbed a bunch because you never know they're bad. I put the one that looked the best, but that doesn't mean it is. It's not a lot to it, though. I mean, it's a O-ring, a spring, and then a system. That's it. All right? It pushes down, it goes in. So, yeah, we're going to be back in a little bit. My camera is getting tired because I'm talking, but y'all know I do that. We got a lot longer time of running the system, so we'll be... All right, everybody, it's been about an hour and 15 minutes. It's been running. It says we're vacuum. Come here and double-check the lines real good. See it? Give me a fair take a picture of them from right, right there. If I have for myself. In a minute. Okay, see the lines? That one's a little low over there, but that's how it was because it was slightly off center. So what we're gonna do is close up the system. Close up that system. So that when we turn off the pump, we don't lose vacuum. Okay. Make sure those are real good and tight. Back in the leak. All right.
And, uh, you know, we can leave this hooked up, I guess, just in case it is, but I guess it doesn't matter. We'll know if we have a leak. Either way, I'm going to fill the system afterwards, so you think we're good? I think, I think so. we're good. We're going to do this. We're going to take it off, okay, guys? I don't like asking questions, so we're going to move this guy. And just to double check that the system stays good, I want to reconnect him to himself, okay? So that the loop stays all right, okay? So what we're gonna check is if I have a leak in the system. I don't wanna know if this thing's leaking. I wanna know if the system is. So these sealed off, these two lines and everything in about an hour should be the same. Do you take these off? No. Okay. That's the oh, system. Yeah. Okay. Don't take those off, guys. That's how we're testing to see if we have a leak. This vacuum the whole system and these are connected through. So if we have a leak, that means that wasn't my only leak and I have an AC leak somewhere else, which is possible. It could be the evaporator, it could be my compressor, it could be these. This is the original system. So we're gonna let this sit here and just come back. Um, For another hour. An hour, just let it sit. Um, just to check to see that I know I have to do something else and I might have to replace the compressor, I might have to do whatever. But either way, I'm gonna fill this system today for me because I don't have the time before it gets 82 on these day to gotta work on this. So I'm gonna put some refrigerant and everything in. But I'd like to see if I have a leak. So this is the same for you. And then I have a leak detector, which I'll check afterwards after I fill the system with that leak detector. Tester, deep, 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 deep. Okay, so we're gonna put this guy away. He works pretty good. You know, so there we are. See you guys in a little bit. So we're done. We tested my vacuum. Come over here. It's been about an hour, I think like 50 minutes. They haven't moved, so I have no leak. So my leak was only right here. All right, so that's the video. I replaced it. I did a vacuum on here. Uh, I'm going to fill the AC. I'm not gonna do it right in a second, but let me show you guys if you're doing this. Here, come here. That's your R134 refrigerant factory charge. Do you see that? That's two pounds of refrigerant, okay? That means you need 16 and 16, which is what? 32. 32, 32 ounces of refrigerant. I have 12 ounce cans, I have three of them. So that means I'm gonna put the 24 in, I'm gonna do all this testing. We're gonna do a separate video for this, okay? So that was the video. I'm sorry rambling on. Yeah, I don't know. Oh. Please, you want a vacuum pump? This thing is pretty dope uh, for the price and all the gauges, everything came with it. Um, there may be better, I don't know. Had a lot of good reviews, I like it. I like my welder. Um, mm -hmm. Back on, sorry we had to cut it. Somebody went by the radio blast and I ain't getting no copyright. Well, be the point of this video if I'm getting a copyright. That song company would get all the money if I even made a dollar. They'd be like, here's a dollar to that company. I'm like, but they didn't do anything in the video. All right, so there we go. I like it, it's pretty dope. Rambling. That's it. Help me help you help me. Okay? Please like, subscribe. If a little bit helps during these times, check out all these videos if you got Dodge because there's like 300 of them. I'm always working on this thing. I love her, but man, Black Betty just, she abuses me. So, yeah, that's it. As always, I'm RJ. Seize the day each and every day. Please check back for the filling one if you need that because I'm going to do that here right now. Bye-bye.